the reason I'm doing this bit on Chinese food is uh, what do Jews do Christmas Eve? Jews I know, we all go out for Chinese food, but that's not happening this year. So I'm going to show you how to make Chinese food at home. And this is a semi-original recipe called Summer Grilled Beef with oyster sauce. Okay, key things, this is going to be easy and fast. So you, the ingredients are all stuff you'll find at your local supermarket. Uh, you may need to wander into the international aisle for a couple things such as uh, sesame oil and oyster sauce. But the rest of the stuff's going to be in the normal sections of your uh, grocery store. So you're going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need some garlic. You're going to need some teriyaki sauce. I'm recommending you use peanut oil. Uh, you can also use canola, canola oil, but peanut oil has a better flavor. You don't want to use olive oil because we're going to be cooking at a high temperature. Uh, Timetable, so there's going to be up 15 minutes of preparation. Uh, two hours, you're, you're going to marinate the beef. Um, I usually let it marinate overnight, but if you're in a hurry, you can just do it in two hours and then about 20 minutes of cooking time. And again, I mentioned it was going to be easy and simple. So no project management software, no spreadsheets, uh, hopefully no headaches. Uh, one caveat though, um, as far as like realistic expectations, this is not going to be, it's, it's going to taste good, but it's not going to taste as good as what you get in your local Chinese restaurant. I mean, they've got uh, tools and techniques and they've highly trained staff that you're not going to be able to duplicate at home. <laughs> So nothing too crazy. So first we're gonna start with the meat marinade. We need some garlic, we're gonna use teriyaki sauce and peanut oil. And I recommend teriyaki sauce because a lot of Chinese uh, recipes call for soy sauce and they want you to add sugar and they want you to add rice vinegar. A lot of that stuff is already in the teriyaki sauce. So that's one less step. And again, I'm recommending peanut oil you can use canola oil if you want, but not olive oil because we're going to be cooking at a high temperature. So, two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, a teaspoon of peanut oil. Don't forget the garlic, as I did in this video. And now we're going to cut across the grain. So I'm using cheap stew meat. Uh, if you get a better cut of beef, it'll taste better, but whatever you do, you want to cut across the grain. Pretend it's a piece of wood, you're cutting across the grain. And be careful with your fingers. Cross the grain. Cross the grain. And you can marinate it for at least two hours. Uh, again, I prefer to do it overnight. So two hours later, or the next day, you're ready to cook. First thing we're going to cut, we're going to prepare the vegetables. I told you this was going to be quick. Key thing with the carrot is you're going to cut it into smaller pieces because it's a denser vegetable and it'll take a little longer to cook. Vegetables are ready. Now time for the finishing sauce ingredients, hot pepper powder, cornstarch, and about a tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, a little hot pepper powder, finishing sauce is done. So we've got off to the side, we've got our marinated beef, we've got our vegetables, we've got our finishing soft sauce, and now it's time to cook. Tablespoon of peanut oil. Mm 
another tablespoon of peanut oil. Cut with the onions, get them nice and soft. I told you this was going to be fast. Now brightly colored. Finishing sauce. Get the beef back in. Start around. Add a teaspoon of sesame oil. It gives it a nice, nice fragrance. Move it from the heat. And we're done. There's a finished product. Got some nice colors there. And as we say in the old country, Metsuyan. So here's the whole menu. Uh, here's the whole recipe. It's up on our website. So it's basically half a page of the shopping list and the tools. Basically, you need a knife, a frying pan, and a spatula, and then the actually cooking instructions. Again, fast and easy. And here's the shameless promotion for my book, God Bless Cambodia. And it's about a never married hypochondriac who takes a trip around the world, hoping to change his luck with love. So we've got a Boston homebody traveling around the world, and he's he goes through Southeast Asia and he's sampling all the different dishes and these, there's stir-fried snake and there's roasted beetles and other good stuff.